everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is our live video weather blog on Periscope, Twitter, Google Plus, and YouTube for early Saturday. Time up in the clock on the iPad, iPhone, just general phone thingy up in the area above my head. Website, wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to know more about what's going on. Current forecast information right now in the Mid-South. Temperature back around 60 in downtown Memphis. South winds at about 12. Today's forecast, showers and thunderstorms in the middle bar here. Lower 70s for highs, mid 50s for low temperatures in your forecast for tonight. And again, all that forecast information available here at WRAG.com slash weather. Roadways are decently wet. You go too fast on roadways like what you see up here. The water gets between the tire and the roadway surface, and that is called hydroplaning. It's just like driving on ice, and it's something that I would not recommend to anybody. So slow it down down out there. Roadways like this, you've got to be very careful on days like this. Even if it's damp out there, the whole friction of driving changes. So you've got to be able to make certain that you do a very good job of slowing things down and keeping yourself safe by obeying the speed limits and keeping a very close eye as to what's going on down the roadway in front of you. This is the time of day and the type of situation to where accidents can really uh, be a problem out there for parts of the Mid-South area. So please, again, slow down. Uh, just saw the comment flash by no ice today no not expecting any ice but wet road west out there so something to think about at that point in time too much water uh, Kapula 7 if I'm reading that right before it fades away on me uh, that is the main problem that we're seeing out there for driving conditions out across much of the mid-south currently looking down into portions of northern Mississippi that's where all the heaviest activity is currently located as that line makes its way through portions of northeastern areas of Mississippi from Corinth all the way down to around the Jackson, Mississippi area so far. And that is again going to be the main threat. The rain starts to dwindle as we get into around the area of Memphis and Shelby County, but we have more areas of showers starting to redevelop over portions of the area from Tunica back up to around Harrisburg. And that's where we see again the possibility of some more wet roadways taking place well back to the west of that all the way over into northwestern areas of Arkansas. The main storm system that we've been watching that's helping to stir all this stuff up is moving its way on through and that'll be again throughout the rest of the day some more showers and thunderstorms possible. Uh, question asked in the comments section just a few seconds ago how much rainfall not really seeing too much of anything there. Uh, Kapalua number seven Fairfax Virginia Sorry, that's a little bit farther out of our forecast area than what we're talking about today. We cover the area of West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and Eastern Arkansas, so unfortunately we're not covering that general location, but you can check in with the National Weather Service and they'll have more information about that. Winds out of the south right now in Germantown, 60 degrees, seeing some fairly breezy conditions out there, and a little bit of rainfall left over in Germantown. A few golfers trying to get out this morning, probably again going to be some wet conditions for golfing around Windyke Country Club. Temperatures throughout the rest of the morning, again, back into the mid-60s or so, with winds very breezy and the red bar up there out of the south at about 15 to 20 miles per hour throughout the rest of the morning. More chances of showers and thunderstorms possible as we go into this afternoon and this evening. Late this morning into this afternoon, that's where we see the possibility of stronger weather, possibly severe weather coming our way. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Now, at using this graphic, why, I don't know, but sometimes the computer freezes in this and usually catches my face at the wrong period of time, kind of like getting your picture taken at the DMV. So hopefully that will not happen at this point. And there we go again. Uh, throughout the rest of the Mid-South, let me see if I can pass this up just a little bit so that we can uh, get everybody in view here for the Mid-South area. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s by around lunchtime and just afterwards today. There will be chances of stronger thunderstorms again this afternoon. Most of that threat has moved well on down into northern parts of Mississippi and western and northwestern Alabama for later on today. So the severe threat is starting to dwindle, but we still could see showers and thunderstorms out there easily right on through about News Channel 3 at 5 and 6 this evening and wrapping up as we go through around News Channel 3 at 10 tonight. 8 o'clock this evening, get ready for Earth Hour. If you've not heard about anything like this, please consider participating and learning more about how 
you can help to conserve energy. If you'd like to know more, go to my Facebook and other social media pages for more about Earth Hour 2017, about how you can do your job to keep your utility bill a little lower. So something to think about there if you'd like to participate in Earth Hour coming up later on tonight. That's at 8.30 Central Time. Rest of the evening, showers and thunderstorms leave the Mid-South, heading back on over to the east of us and moving their way out of the Mid-South should be taking care of most of the rainfall overnight. Could be some sprinkles left over around Corinth, Mississippi, northwest Alabama as we get into early tomorrow morning. Most of the Mid-South should be relatively clear, so getting rid of all that not be too much of a problem. This time comes to severe green freeze problems out there. We are still live on Periscope, so keep it tuned. The low area we're looking at here, that's going to be, again, where we see the potential of severe weather for later on today, down around Huntsville and northeastern sliver of parts of Mississippi. Rest of the Mid-South, the green indicates a marginal threat of severe weather. Less of a threat, still possible. We will keep monitoring that for any anything in the way of severe weather. And then through the rest of the day today, the main severe weather threat for us leaves the Mid-South, but as we get into Monday, severe threat all of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Mainly going to be looking at the possibility of strong winds, damaging winds possible with these thunderstorms as they move on through. Everybody in the Mid-South, that again includes everybody from Dyersburg, Tennessee to Oxford, Mississippi, Forest City, Arkansas to Jackson, Tennessee, and the Memphis metro area will see the risk of severe weather. This forecast will change in the next couple of days, so you need to stay tuned to News Channel 3 so we can keep you updated on what's going on. The forecast change from time to time and if you've ever heard or ever seen news headlines online or national media that say without warning this is your warning this is the forecast that says that severe weather could be possible in parts of an area so this is what you really need to pay attention to to make safe so something to think about if you have any outdoor plans. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures back into the lower 70s with showers and thunderstorms possible. Getting into the next couple of days, we see again showers and thunderstorms again on Monday, and then possibly as we go into around next Saturday, looks like the computer's having some more hiccups here, so that's what we're going to be looking for. Again, temperatures very mild over the next several days back in the lower to mid 70s. Monday, a possibility of severe weather, dwindling chances of rain early on Tuesday, picking up again Wednesday into Thursday, and possibly lingering into Friday and more chances of showers and thunderstorms as we go toward next Saturday or so. More on the forecast. Tune in throughout the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 so you can get more details there. And whatever platform you've got, Apple, Android, whatever it is, get the News Channel 3 weather app. It's available at your app store. Just search WREG weather and download it today so you can keep up to date with what's going on in the Mid-South where it comes to weather forecast information information, current conditions, webcams, got a whole bunch of stuff on this app, and you would love to take a look at it. All you have to do is just search WREG Weather for more. And of course, keep up to date with what's going on on these social media networks, and we'll keep you updated on all the weather coming up as we go through there, and also at WREG.com slash weather, the email address up above my head. We'll have more details on your forecast again tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10. Todd Demers will be in bright and early for daybreak on Sunday morning, and I'll be back on Sunday night to round out the weekend to keep track as to what's going on with severe weather on the, in the area moving into the Mid-South on Monday. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, complaints, if you absolutely have to, send them to austin.onic at wreg.com. We would love to hear more from you about how we can make this more of your weather blog, but we can't do it unless you tell us what you'd like to see, so please keep us updated on that. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the WREG News Channel 3 exclusive video weather blog, Weather overtime. Thanks for joining us this morning and stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the weekend for further weather updates.